2023 celebrates the 10th anniversary of Kamen Rider Gaim, a revolutionary entry in the franchise that has gone on to be a well-known fan favorite and a presence that has never really left since it debuted. One of the most defining things about Gaim's legacy is how it redefined Kamen Rider toy line staples in the years to come, from things like when and what types of forms are introduced and the patterns that items would be released in. This was no different in 2020, when Kamen Rider Gaim was brought into Premium Bandai's Complete Selection Modification line in the form of Project Arc. Nicknamed after the Sengoku Driver program featured in the show, the signature driver will be brought into the CSM line alongside the release of a new Gaim special on the TTFC app. To this point, besides Decade, Double, and O's, CSM hadn't really tackled a gimmick-heavy rider series, so Gaim was the real test on how they would handle remaking the more expansive toy lines into the adult format. Project Arc would be a three-year-long plan by Bandai to release both the Sengoku and Genesis drivers from the show, alongside most of the Loxies out there in the canon, in time for the 10th anniversary. The Loxies will be released in theme sets every couple of months, until the confirmed list, showcased on a special Helheim Forest website, were made. From the very beginning, some Loxies were not in CSM consideration for unknown reasons. This includes Fresh Pine, Sid, Proto Dragon Fruits Energy, Blank Zakaro, Original Toy Line Exclusive Lox, and all the Legend Rider ones. However, this wasn't a deal breaker, as the CSM Sengoku Driver could still use the original toy releases if one had those. Back in 2020, I released a video focused on the news announcement when this was brand new, and you can definitely tell this by my awful pandemic era hairstyle and beard that will never return. But now that the three years are up and it is Gaim's 10th anniversary year, let's revisit the complete selection modification Comrade Gaim Project Arc series. Before we get started for this video, I have a special announcement. I'm partnering with Toe Collectibles for a Comrade Gaim themed giveaway. If you haven't picked up any of the CSM Gaim items and you want to get started on your collection, we're giving away a CSM Sengoku Driver Project Arc version. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe to Toku Topics and following Toku Collector on Twitter and leave a comment telling me your favorite Loxseed or Gaim character. A winner will be chosen on November 10th, 2023. So good luck and thanks to Toku Collectibles for partnering with me for this giveaway. I'm so happy today I wanted to show off some stuff because, and I got this a while ago, but I wanted to show it off. Uh, but basically, after I, for years, I've wanted to own the CSM Gaim stuff, any of it. Uh, and I just have never been able to because CSM stuff is extremely expensive and everything. But thanks to support from you guys on the channel and on Patreon and everything, I was finally able to do it. So, And also, as a graduation gift and a birthday gift to myself back in May, I made this happen. And there was like a thing where there was like a buy coupon and stuff like that. But I've already posted about this on Twitter. But I did buy... The Complete Selection Modification Sengoku Driver. The first wave of Project Arc was the Sengoku Driver itself. Released in March 2021, this included the Orange, Kachidoki, and Kiwami Lock Seeds, the Genesis Core, the Seiyo Port, two Lock Seed Holders, the Gaim Faceplate, and Belt Straps. This was everything to cover most of the major Gaim related forms used in the series and to be ready for the energy loxies to be released later by including the Genesis Core from the beginning. Keeping with the name of the project, there was also the simpler Project Arc version of the Sengoku Driver that included no lock seeds. This was sold in either yellow strap or silver strap variations instead of including both straps like the main set does. For the entire CSM Gaim line thus far, they've also released overseas, thanks to Team Comrider and Bluefin Brands. These US releases of the items are the exact same as the Japanese versions, except for the English instruction manual and the Bluefin sticker on the bottom of the box. If you'd like to start your own CSM Gaim collection, I'll put affiliate links to everything on Amazon in the description below, which will help out the channel if you use them, and it's awesome that we have American releases of these toys. Lock seeds were released in six theme sets, based on the characters and organizations within the series in subsequent movies and specials. The first of these was the CSM Lockseed Sharemont set for Comrades Gridon and Bravo. Included here was five locks, Donguri, Durian, the Orin version of Donguri, and the newly created and seen in 2020's Gaim Gaiden special for the featured riders, King Durian and Lychee. Faceplates were also included for Proto Gridon and Bravo as well, characters featured in 2019's Comrades and Getsu stage show. This set was released in two ways, once on its own, and also in a version packed in with the home media release of the Gaiden Special. This was the routine for Project Arc. 
Every few months, a new Lockseed set will come out and check off more and more of the original list shown in October 2020. The second set was the Team Baron set, released in August of 2021, which included Banana, Mango, Kuryumi, and the first energy lock seeds of Matsubokiri and Marin Energy, while the faceplates included Baron, Black Baron slash Proto Baron, as both riders use the same looking plate, and Knuckle, which is different from the Kurokage Triple one, as one plays the rock music, and one plays the Sengoku Japanese Gaim themed music. October 2021 was the Kirishima set for comrades Ryugen and Zengetsu, including their faceplates, as well as Watermelon Zengetsu's version from the first Gaim Gaiden, Ryugen Yomi, and Proto Ryugen, as well as the lock seeds of Budo, Kiwi, Melon, Watermelon, Yomutsu Higiri, and the first ever release of Shin Kachidoki for Zengetsu. Okay, so let me get adjusted here. This is this is arriving like a month before I even get the Sengoku driver. I'm probably gonna put up on the screen right now what day that I'm recording this, but oh my god. <laughs> It's a CSM Gaim thing. It's actually the first CSM Gaim thing. I think this actually came out before the, the driver did. I could be wrong about that. Although I think that's actually accurate. So me getting this before the driver is actually the way that it's uh, technically supposed to have gone. So uh, this is the first Lockseed's theme set, as you can see right here. This is the Lockseed Charmont set or Charmont set. Ooh, I'm really excited. This is like... This is the comrade counterpart of me getting Ranger Keys. Like, Gaim is my favorite, favorite rider show by far, and I've never owned... I've, I have lock seats. I have some lock seats and stuff from the deluxe releases, but look at that. It's a, such a nice quality box, too. Like, it's like a hard cardboard. <laughs> so we have the instructions in there, which I think are in English. I do the fact that this is the U.S. release, but... Wow. The presentation on these is just, I mean, it's just impressive. So here it is. Um, so these should already have batteries inside. My only complaint with these so far is that for the purposes of being more show accurate, they have removed the on and off switch at the bottom, which I may have already taken a look at in the review or the the, yeah, the unboxing of the Sengoku driver, because I think I'm including this part later on. Uh, but, uh, you know. So you can't turn them on and off. There would be a bit of delay until the next set in February 2022, which brought with it the Gaim set, which was used to complete the titular rider's arsenal before the rest of the set would focus on primarily villain riders. The Gaim set included the lock seeds for Ichigo, Pine, and Suika, and Gaim Yame's lock seeds of Dark Orange and Lemon Energy. This also included the first deluxe release of the Fresh Orange lock seed seen in the Gaim Hyper Battle DVD, and the only faceplate included here was Proto Gaim. July 2022 saw the Lockseed Yggdrasil set, based on the corporation from the series, and included Duke, Kurokage, Uden, Bujingaim, and the previously released Kurokage Trooper faceplates, and the Lockseeds of Matsubokiri, Lemon, Ringo, Sakuro, Blood Orange, and Himawari. And finally, the last Lockseed set was the Helheim set, released in November 2022, with 15, Mars, Kamuro, Jam, Silphy, and Maja's faceplates, and the lock seeds of 15, Golden Ringo, Silver Ringo, Black Ringo, Hells, and Maja. Besides a previously released Budabasol medal, this was the first merchandise release for Comrade Maja from the Gaim Final Stage show, and Sylphie finally got her lock seed released who was the villain of the 2020 Gaim Gaiden special that kickstarted the whole CSM line. With all of the releases out of the way, taking a look at the toy itself, as with any CSM release, the Sengoku Driver is packed with features. A good amount of the writers from the series and movies either lent their voices for new phrases or archival audio was used to fill the dialogue button that's present on the top of the driver. The music button has at least 16 songs from the show, and there is also a button for sounds of placing and taking off the driver as heard in the show. There are three main modes included for this toy to be used, and with there being hundreds of phrases from the 25 released faceplates and so much to cover, I won't be showing off everything today as we would be here for a very long time, but we should probably try to henchin with it. Henshin! A 
attaching either the yellow straps used by Gaim and a lot of the other main riders, or the silver straps used by Knuckle, the Kurokage Troopers, and other mass-produced Sengoku drivers, follows the same sort of technology as the Deluxe Belt. You can also have the optional lock seat holder pieces, either one on both sides, as seen with Gaim Kiwami, or just one, or none. Attaching the faceplate works the exact same way as the original toy as well. The faceplates have been redesigned and cannot work with the older releases. Each lock seed themselves has tons of modes and phrases on their own. And for the finer details on how everything works, I'll be including pictures of the manuals for the Sengoku driver in the description below, uploaded by my friend Greg on Twitter, which was super helpful for creating this video. Now while Project Arc met most of its goals in releasing stuff by November 2022, CSM Gaim wasn't done yet. After promising it years before, and even releasing the Genesis Core in a separate cheap release by itself, the Genesis Driver was finally revealed in October 2023 for a release in March 2024. This very expensive release includes the energy lock seeds for lemon, cherry, peach, melon, and dragon fruits, a new LED panel in the bottom chamber to fix the grinding noise of the original deluxe and better recreate the liquid filling up effect from the show, and just like the Sengoku Driver, this can be bought in a few different ways. One version that includes no lock seeds and just an energy lock seed set on their own, or together in the full bundle, which includes the kill switch remote that ended the functionality of most Genesis drivers at the end of Gaim. While at the time of this video, that is the end of CSM Gaim announced releases, it won't be the end of CSM Gaim, as the recent Narakiri World event in October 2023 showed that the CSM spin-off line, Complete Style Gigantic, known for tackling big prop-sized weapons, We'll probably be tackling the Muso Saber and Sonic Arrow in the future based off of prototypes, but release details have not been confirmed for those two items just yet. Overall, CSM Gaim Project Arc was a very comprehensive line that is perfect for any fan of Comrade of Gaim. It really showed how CSM can release a gimmick-heavy season in a creative way over a long period of time to help make the cost feel not as bad. The only main missing lock seeds as previously mentioned for unknown reasons are things like Fresh Pine, Black Baron's version of Banana, Sid, all the Legend Rider ones, but who knows, maybe they'll get to them eventually. And that is going to do it for a showcase on the Complete Selection Modification Comrade of Gaim Project Arc series. Let me know down in the comments below, do you have any of these items in your collection? And if so, which ones are your favorite? Be sure to check out my Patreon page as two bonus videos to this one are available on there right now for $3 and above members, including a full unboxing of the Sengoku driver and a demo of every lock seed and rider faceplate. Also be sure to enter the giveaway hosted by Toe Collectibles by following both them on Twitter and subscribing to me here on YouTube and leaving a comment below telling me your favorite rider or lock seed from Gaim. And once again, this contest will be open until November 9th with a winner being announced on November 10th, 2023. Thank you all for watching this video, and be sure to like and subscribe for more Comrade Gaim content here on Toku Topics. Till next time, be sure to follow me on Twitter at LiveRangerKey or LightningVicPR, and I will see you all later. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Overland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, James Darty, Eric Berry, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CBT Tesla, Cross SCV, Gaboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, Jesus Prime, Uni Warrior Thomas, Louis Carnes, and Carlos Alfredo. You can support Toku Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.